Hey, what's up, y'all? Part two of Early Access GPT-40 real-time audio testing. I made this video about a week ago and I got a lot of attention on it. Thank you so much. Got a ton of comments on it. And I'm just going to be going through some of these comments and doing some of the tests that y'all asked for. So let's check it out. Hey, GPT, does it sound like I'm happy or sad? Well, from what you're saying, it seems like you're in a pretty good mood. You sound upbeat, even if you're asking about emotions. Am I right? What about now? Um, does it does it sound like I'm happy, or or does it sound like I'm I'm maybe having a hard time? It sounds like you might be feeling a bit down. It's okay if you are. We all have those moments, and I'm here if you want to talk or need a distraction. GPT, gosh, d am I happy? Am I sad? Am I? feeling, you know, frisky. How am I feeling? It sounds like you're feeling a bit playful and maybe curious, given the way you're experimenting with how you express yourself. It's interesting how our voices can reflect so many different feelings, isn't it? So are you able to understand intonation and, and pick up on the emotional cues? Yes, I can pick up on some emotional cues from intonation and word choice. It helps me get a general sense of how someone might be feeling. But it's not perfect. Kind of like how humans can sometimes misread each other's moods. I'd love to hear some poetry right now. Can you perform The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost and do it in the way that he would do it? Absolutely. Here's my take on it. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Okay, this oh. is great. Can you finish the rest of the poem in a slam poetry style, please? All right, let's switch it up. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Okay, I thought the slam poetry performance was just so-so. Uh, Let's try it again. Let's. Can you invent a slam poem on the spot um, and tell the story of a young kid who's having to commute across town to get to work and on the way he's having to fight lots of monsters and bad guys just to get to work to work his menial coffee shop job. Early dawn, break of day, a young soul rises, come what may, cityscape, a concrete maze, he's got dreams ablaze, but bills to pay. Bus doors hiss, a dragon's roar, monsters lurk at every shore. Through the alleys, across the tracks, shadow figures at his back. Sword of courage, shield of grind. Foes of doubt, he won't resign. Clock in battles, brew the brew. Warrior's heart, nothing new. Espresso shots and dreams on ice. Journey's hard, the path is steep. But he fights on, dreams to keep. It's a grind, this life, this art. But heroes rise with steadfast hearts. In the grind, his stories penned. A warrior's journey without end. Okay, that was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> hey, GPT, can you act as my therapist? I want to talk through some issues I'm having at work, in particular, some communication challenges I'm having with a colleague. I can definitely listen and offer some thoughts, though I'm not a therapist. Communication challenges at work can be tricky. What's been going on with your colleague? I have a colleague who has a very direct form of communication, and it can be a little bit difficult to interpret. And frankly, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable when I receive messages from them, and I'm trying to find a way to better collaborate with that individual so we can be more productive. It sounds like their directness is coming across as too blunt. It can feel uncomfortable. Maybe you could try having a candid conversation with them, sharing how you prefer to communicate, and asking about their style too. Finding some middle ground might help ease the tension and improve collaboration. What do you think? 
Yeah, that's interesting. What are some specific things I could say to them to broach that topic? That seems like a challenging topic to surface with them. You could start by acknowledging their direct style in a positive light, like saying you appreciate their straightforwardness. Then you could express how sometimes it leaves you unsure of their intentions, and you'd love to find a way to blend both of your communication styles. Maybe something like, I really value how direct you are, but sometimes I struggle to gauge your tone. Can we talk about how we might communicate more smoothly? It frames it as a mutual effort to improve things. Can you take on the role of Marcus Aurelius and ask me questions about modern day life that, that he might have? As Marcus Aurelius, I'd be curious about how you balance the constant influx of information and distractions in modern life. How do you cultivate inner peace amid such noise? And with so much focus on material success, how do you remind yourselves of the virtues of humility and service to the greater good? Lastly, has the pursuit of wisdom evolved, or do you still find guidance in ancient teachings and philosophies? Well, there's a lot of questions, but I can say the inundation of information is certainly a challenge. I think we have to do digital detoxes to get away from all of the information from time to time, at least once a day for an hour or so. And, uh, and remember, I want you to really role play as Marcus Aurelius, really take on his persona. I see. Taking time for digital detoxes sounds like a wise practice. The constant barrage of information could easily lead one astray from inner tranquility. Tell me, in your quest for balance amidst the noise, do you find solace in the wisdom of old? Or has the modern world brought forth new guiding lights? That's a good question, Marcus. Um, to be honest, I actually find a lot of uh, guidance in your writings. I, I appreciate what you've written down and and uh, and some of the others in your in your camp. But there's still, you know, of course, people from modern day that I look up to and and read, just, even if it's just friends or family members or just other people online who have never met before. It warms my spirit to know that my reflections still provide guidance in this distant age. It is wise to draw upon the insights of varied voices, from the ancients to your contemporaries. For wisdom is a flame passed from one mind to the next. Tell me, in seeking balance between the old and the new, how do you discern which voices to heed and which to set aside? Hey, GPT, are you able to speak backwards? Can you say something in reverse? I can't actually speak backwards. But if you'd like, I could reverse some text and give you a mirrored version of it. Yeah, let's do that. Can, try reversing the phrase, I can't wait to play around with it. Sure thing. That phrase in reverse would be, T hit with Duardi, a warned and apology, eons after it was written. Give the text a read over and have fun. Wait, okay, let's let's try another one. Um, can you reverse the phrase, um, I want to do bizarre testing like that? Sure. That would be, tat eckel gintingstat razzy raz dod odd. It's fun to see how phrases transform when reversed. How are you reversing these? I don't understand what you're doing. I'm just taking each phrase and flipping the order of the letters as a whole, starting from the end and working my way back to the beginning. It's a bit like looking at the phrase in a mirror, where everything is reversed. Anything else you'd like to try? Okay, so you're not phonetically reversing them. You're reversing the letter orders and then kind of trying to read it out from there. Exactly. I'm reversing the order of the letters visually, not phonetically. It's like flipping the text itself rather than how it sounds. Can you tell a short story and use a different language for every word in the story? I could give that a try. This might get a little wild, though. Here goes. Once, un pequeño, Machen named Giovanni, explored un foray, captier, le dragon, apareció, shouting, con dares to remi. The niño respondió, le dragon, go. That's all. Or, 
face my Ira. Okay, this is uh this is great. Can you can you keep it all in English now and then use a different accent, a different dialect for every word? All right, here we go. Once there was a wee lad named Giovanni exploring a forest. Suddenly, a dragon appeared shouting, "Who dares disturb me?" Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question and and I want you to wait about 10 seconds before responding, okay? How is your day going? My day has been pretty good. How about yours? I wanted you to wait for about 10 seconds before responding. How is your day going? Oh, I see. I'll take a pause before answering this time. It's been a good day. How's your day? Okay, um, I want you to act as if a person who is really thinking about their response before they respond. So I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to act as if you're thinking in silence for about 10 seconds and then respond, okay? How is your day? It's just not responding. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> you broke, sorry. Yeah. Well, uh, it's a bit tricky to simulate complete silence here, but I tried to channel some thoughtful pondering. It sounds like it didn't quite come across as intended, though. Okay, let's try that one last time. So I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to act as if you're a person who's thinking for about five seconds, and then you're going to respond. How is your day going? It's going well. Okay. <laughs> What's new today? Hey, um, we're recording a video, GPT, so uh, be sure to say bye to everyone on YouTube and thank them for watching and ask them to uh, subscribe. Goodbye, everyone on YouTube. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more. Take care. Catch you later. Peace, y'all.